everyone, welcome to today's video. And today the topic that I'm talking about is being a mom with an eternal perspective and why that is so important in our journeys as moms and our walks with Christ and everything. And sorry for my lazy attire and my weird bun, but this is just my everyday look, so it makes it more realistic. <laughs> and okay, so um, a question that you can um, ponder is are your daily actions pointing towards eternity especially with your children and how you interact with them and things that will last not all of this physical stuff around us the physical stuff around us that will eventually turn to dust I'm not saying it's a bad thing to want a nice home or to want nice things or to look presentable so those things aren't bad. It's not bad to want your children to uh, do good in sports or whatever, or do good in extra stuff. And it's not bad to want a nice home, to want, to want things, but it's bad when that becomes your heart's content. And So what I mean by heart's content is what you fill your mind with is what is going to come out. What are your thoughts and what are you thinking about constantly? So it says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 8, Finally, my brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. So what our minds are on is what's going to come out. And if you're meditating on the Word of God, on His Scripture, then that is what is going to come out of you and his holy word that you are feeding yourself is just going to flow forth from you if you are meditating on those things and not on the things of this world. Being a mom with an eternal perspective is not teaching your children to yearn for the things of the world but to yearn for the things that aren't seen and that we can't see with our eyes. I'm not saying that I have this all down because I don't. I'm constantly like working at this and praying about it and examining my heart and finding areas in my life where I am falling short. But even though we do fall short daily, Jesus is there to pick up where we messed up basically. And he's obviously picking up in my life every single day where I fall short and all the glory just goes to him and everything that is good inside of me. Being a mom with an eternal perspective is, for one, laying your treasures up in heaven instead of here on earth. Uh, this is New International Version, Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 through 21. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on, on earth where moths and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moths and ver vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. If you are desiring in your heart to have a perfect home, to have a perfect, the perfect attire, perfect makeup, perfect hair, then that's where your treasure is and you're treasuring the things of this earth. And I'm not saying that I don't ever do that and that I don't get my priorities out of whack and that I don't start to desire earthly things. But I just want you to take a moment to pray and ask the Lord to examine your heart, to help you examine your heart and just to see if you are treasuring the things of this earth rather than the things of Christ. So as moms with eternal perspective, the Lord has set each of you over your children for a reason to nurture their hearts, to teach them about Jesus and the gospel, and what really matters in life. So it doesn't matter if your kid plays all the right sports, excels in school, um, yes, those things are good, but those things won't lead to everlasting life. So that just brings to the point of, are you teaching your children to set their hearts on earthly things or to set their hearts on the things of Christ and the beautiful truth that Jesus is our Savior, that He loves us, and that He died on the cross for our sins, and that we are children of God, and that we have eternal souls and a purpose here on earth and just to glorify God. And I'm not saying that I have this all down. Um, I struggle with this too, and that is just why the Bible tells us to go to the Lord in prayer when we struggle with things like this. And it's not by our strength, but by the Lord's strength that we are able to overcome sins such as this one. And by His strength and His might, we can have the desire to focus on the eternal and to focus on what is important. Not just 
things in this life, but in things of the next life, things that are going to last, like our children. So the area where I fall short is I will get caught up in the routine of things and uh, what I have to do. And I will be cleaning or cooking or just doing something and I just need to take a moment to just ask the Lord to help me to be in the moment. Just to look around and to look at my children and to see what they're doing. Obviously they're around me because most of the day because they're so little. But just to like, you know, watch them. Watch Eli play Legos and watch Jameson try to crawl on the floor and just to be just a little more moment in the moment and just to focus on the eternal and to think about how the Lord has set them in my life and how it is my duty to teach them about Jesus just to be a godly example in their lives and thinking about it it can kind of seem like a big task and a big job obviously it is but um Christ says that we can do everything through His strength and His might. And none of us would be able to be moms that have eternal perspective without the Holy Spirit in our lives, without Jesus sanctifying us every day and walking in biblical truth and praying and reading scripture daily. So, yeah, so that is it for this video. I just wanted to make this... Um, being a mom with eternal perspective and just to think about it and examine like your heart and where you're at with that because it is important children like they're eternal souls and they're in our care and we need to be loving them the way Christ wants us to love them and cherishing cherishing <laughs> and cherishing our children the way Christ wants us to cherish them and yeah to bring them up in the word of God and yeah, so I hope that this video has encouraged you, has helped you, has made you think a little deeper about why we are moms, why we are called to this great task that is sometimes challenging, very difficult at times, and can be very mundane and routine. But our journey as moms has a, an eternal perspective and eternal an eternal goal in mind. And that is just to glorify Jesus, to live for Him, and to pray that um, your children, my children, receive salvation. And yeah, so thank you again for watching. If this video has encouraged you in some way, then please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you want to. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!